Hello, Sula here from mistyhilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm working on a Christmas card that I titled Wonderful Christmas. I'm using a Christmas and winter paper pack and I'm also using one of my freebie card sketches that you can find as fully functional silhouette and SVG cut file on my website mistyhilltops.com. It's a freebie. So um, here I have started with, I have a card back and then um, I am just trying to create a paper strip basically and it doesn't have to look all that perfect because it'll be cut down further um, or used uh, where it's going to be covered up. My cardstock doesn't like the trimmer very well so I always have to uh, cut around the edges after I've used my trimmer um, just because it gets really kind of torn up a little bit but that's all right. So here I am actually trying to create a paper flag from this paper strip of paper. And so I am just using um, a stencil there to um, draw that wedge onto the card. And so it makes a really perfect um, little wedge there. Um, I prefer that over eyeballing it because I know I can get it just right. So then the card size is actually in a 4x6 or 6x4 card. Um, I know they're not the traditional card sizes, but they work for me. And so I um, create um, the paper. The pattern paper is just slightly smaller. It's um, just a 3 and 3 quarters uh, by 5 and 3 quarters. So it's a quarter of an inch smaller around. And so that gives it the nice edge around. Then um, I have this tiny little tag. I'm not sure if you can see it on that white desk, but there's this tag and I'm using um, one of my, my stamps to just stamp a little sentiment onto this tag. And for this tag, I used one of my Tim Holtz um, die cut sets. I think it's from chapter three, one of those um, dies. Um, so anyway, uh, here I'm also running my scissors around the edges of the paper, the pattern paper that I just cut, and then um, I can start assembling my card. Um, so here I am ready to glue down that pattern background paper. Um, it just goes on the card base in the background. And then um, I have a little holly um, that I will put together. Just the holly leaves, I, I'm not even sure. So it's uh, just one of the, the typical Christmas um, motives. So for these, I actually used also used some die cuts, but um, or dies. But if you go and find the template on my blog mistyhilltops.com, you'll find a, a just a full cut file with everything included that um, you might need for this card. So. Here I am just assembling it. What I do like about using dies, my dies, this is, for example, this is an etched die. It will give a little um, etching into, into the leaves, which my silhouette cannot do as well. So that's why I still do prefer um, those, um, well, the, my dies, when I have a choice between a die or my silhouette. And so here I have added that sentiment. And now I have this, these whole bunches of little um, berries, basically they'll be become berries as I put them on the page. And so um, they'll be covering up there. And so, um, but that's this card done. I'm going to leave you with some more close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.